Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm CB Harris, and welcome back to Thursday's Training Tip. And I apologize that I didn't get this video up in the morning like I typically do. Uh, life just kind of got in the way this week. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll have this video posted up before the end of Thursday, so technically I guess it will still be Thursday's Training Tip. So today I want to talk to you guys about something that a student of mine recently learned. Uh, I actually have a class going on right now, but it isn't one of these students. It was a student back in December, and it's a, it's a lesson that uh, I think that they learned not the hard way necessarily, but it was, a, it was an embarrassing way to learn it. But you know what? I guess in this situation, in a training environment, it's probably best to learn it there as opposed to in the real world. Now, this lesson has to do with carrying your rifle while you're running. Uh, I have rifle here. What we got, this is a Vepper, and so uh, what we got is when typically when people have their rifle, they're running with it, they have it in a low ready position. They're running with it. Well, this student learned the hard way that when you trip and fall, you fall right on your rifle. And now, you know, engaging your, in this case, a training enemy, your op for, um, they weren't able to do that because they're laying on their rifle, not able to, you know, try to fight with it to try to get it out from underneath them. Now, as opposed to that, in a high port type position, you can still run one-handed, carrying your rifle, and if you happen to fall, you fall with your rifle out. Because it's natural for you to try to stop yourself, so you're falling with your rifle out. Yes, still embarrassing, still a horrible thing to trip and fall, but at least your rifle is pointed at the enemy. So. Uh, I guess the purpose of this training tip, most people really, they really don't like high port. Uh, a lot of ranges require you to have it that way. It's not for the same purpose. Uh, but most people really don't think of high port as having any purpose in a tactical environment. And I just wanted to explain that there is possibly a reason to go for your rifle at high port when you're running, even in a tactical environment. So anyway guys, let me know what you guys think. You may not agree with me at all, but that's fine. Go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. I always appreciate it when you guys comment and interact with the videos. It's always appreciated when you do that. I also appreciate it when you like and share the videos. So if you enjoyed it, please like and share. And if you enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber, you'd like to become one, go ahead and click down on the subscribe button. And come back every Monday and Thursday for regularly scheduled videos, as well as random videos throughout the month. And until next time, take care and be safe.